it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today I'm showing you guys three different ways of making a creamy vegan pasta. So I'm using three different sets of ingredients and all of these result in a delicious creamy pasta, but I want you guys to try all of them and tell me which one you like the best. And I also have a very special guest at the end to taste test all of these and tell me which one they think is the best. So stay tuned for that. And as always, if you guys need the written recipe and the ingredients list, it's always in a blog post linked down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out so you guys can make these later on. Before we jump into the recipes, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. If you guys haven't heard of Skillshare, they're an online learning community that has thousands of inspiring classes that you can take in the comfort of your own home. They have so, so many different classes to choose from. They have classes on business, productivity, marketing, photography, videography, social media. I mean, all kinds of different classes. It's a great place to develop your creativity. It's a great place to maybe take up a new hobby or just join a community full of other people that are interested in so many different things. So it's a really awesome way to work on your self-development and self-growth and also work on your creativity. So the course I'm taking right now is called Instagram for Business Build an Engaged Community by Tyler McCall. This course is all about using Instagram for your business and creating a strategy around your Instagram account, how to develop an audience and really understand how to use Instagram for your business. And even though I already do have an Instagram account for business, I still have so much to learn. So that is why this is super helpful for me. So if you guys are looking to learn something new or take up something creative, then Skillshare is the perfect place to do so. And today they're actually giving away two months of Skillshare premium to the first thousand people to click the link down below. So you get two months of unlimited classes for free and I mean, what else is there to say, okay? After that, it is only around $10 a month to continue the premium membership. So guys, don't forget to check it out. The link is down below. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's go make some creamy pastas. All right, guys, so I made three different types of creamy vegan pastas, and they all kind of look virtually the same, but they're using different ingredients. So I'm super excited to show you guys. Here's recipe number one. The first recipe I'm gonna show you guys is a creamy cauliflower alfredo. So we are using cauliflower as our main ingredient for this creamy sauce. And trust me guys, it is delicious. You will not believe that this is cauliflower once you've made this. So we're gonna chop up some cauliflower. We're gonna do two cups of chopped cauliflower and this is going to make one serving. And let's heat up one teaspoon of oil in a large wok on medium high heat. And once that's heated up, let's add in some onion. I'm using about a quarter of a small onion, just a small amount of onion, as well as half a tablespoon of minced garlic. And as always, if things start to stick to the pan, just add a little splash of water and you'll be good. Once you've cooked that for a couple minutes or so, we're gonna add in one cup of unsweetened non-dairy milk. I'm using unsweetened soy milk. And then let's add in half a veggie stock cube. And then let's add in our cauliflower. So I'm just gonna mix this around a bit, break down that veggie stock cube a little bit more, just make sure everything is mixed well, and then you're gonna bring this to a soft boil. So once it comes to a soft boil, you wanna just turn it down to a medium low or so, and just let it cook for about 10, 15 minutes until the cauliflower becomes really soft. And then at this point, you're gonna add in one tablespoon of nutritional yeast and one tablespoon of lemon juice, and then just mix that quickly. And then we're gonna throw this whole thing into a blender. So you wanna throw it into the blender, let it blend a little bit, and it might be a bit chunky. So at this point you can throw in maybe a little bit more of the non-dairy milk, or in my case, I just added in a little splash of water. So add in a tiny bit of water at a time until you get the consistency that you want. And that's how you make the sauce, super simple. So now let's go back to that wok. I'm gonna throw in some cooked pasta. I have one serving here of some whole wheat linguine, okay? And then this is the sauce, my friends. This is the cauliflower Alfredo sauce. It's awesome, it's amazing, and I swear to you, it does not taste like cauliflower, I promise. 
So just mix that really well. And of course, you can throw in some of your favorite vegan protein stores. You can throw in some chickpeas or maybe some smoked tofu, whatever you want to make this a little bit more satiating because it's going to be pretty low in calories because you're using cauliflower as the sauce. And yeah, so that's it. It's super simple, guys. And I know that you guys are like, are you sure this works? But I promise you, it works. So we're adding in some salt and pepper and also just a little bit of parsley. And that's how you make a really easy cauliflower Alfredo. I've been making this for years, guys. Trust me, you must try this. Next one is going to be a cashew Alfredo. I'm just going to call all of these Alfredos. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so this one is, of course, using the beloved cashew nut. Yes, I love me the cashew nut, okay? So first, we're gonna soften the cashews by taking one cup of cashews with some water and bringing it to a boil and boiling it for about 20 minutes until softened. And then let's add this into a blender once again, along with some fresh minced garlic. I'm using about, I don't know, one to three cloves of fresh garlic. And then we're gonna add in one block of vegetable stock cube and about two to three or four tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And then we're gonna add in one cup of water. And then we're gonna blend that up. And I don't know if you guys noticed this recipe, but I've definitely shared this before on my YouTube channel. This is my four ingredient creamy pasta sauce recipe. And literally it's four ingredients because we use cashews, garlic, a vegetable stock cube and nutritional yeast. So it's awesome and it tastes so good. So we just threw in some cooked pasta into a pan along with some of the sauce. And then I throw in a little bit of water to kind of thin out the sauce a little bit and just get the nice creamy consistency. I can never say consistency. <laughs> there you go. The nice and creamy consistency that I want. And there you go. That's how you do it. This recipe makes about three to four servings of the sauce, so you can keep it in your fridge and make yourself the delicious uh, cashew Alfredo throughout the week. Or you can actually eat it with other people, you know, if you have friends or a significant other or family, you know what I mean? Okay, so there you go. That is the cashew Alfredo. Super simple, so, so good. Last but not least, we're gonna be making a one pan soy milk Alfredo. This is probably the easiest one to make and also the cheapest because we're using like really just simple ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. And it's so great. This is great if you don't wanna buy cashews, if you don't wanna buy cauliflower, I know those things can be expensive. I don't know about where you guys live, but cauliflower is so expensive where I live, okay? Anyways, so we're gonna take a large wok or a large pan and then we're gonna add one tablespoon of oil along with half a tablespoon of minced garlic. So we have the heat on about medium to medium high heat. I'm just gonna let the garlic cook for a couple minutes and then let's add in one tablespoon of flour. So basically we're making a roux. Yes, guys, we're doing the roux, okay? So after the flour is added, we're gonna add in one cup of unsweetened non-dairy milk. Mm -hmm. So I'm using unsweetened soy milk and I'm also adding in one cup of water. And then let's add in one serving of pasta, dry pasta, and then a third block of vegetable stock cube, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of lemon juice. And then we're gonna just kind of like let the pasta soak into the liquid, cover that up. So we're gonna let this come to a boil and just cook it while stirring it occasionally. By occasionally, I mean maybe once every couple of minutes, just to make sure things aren't sticking to the pan. And you just wanna cook it until the pasta is cooked and then it's gonna thicken up really nicely. The sauce is gonna become really creamy and that is the end result. We're gonna add in some more parsley as always and some black pepper and this creates a really nice thick consistency and a little bit more starchiness because you just cooked up all of that pasta in that one pan. So good and it's a really easy way to make a vegan creamy pasta. All right, Daniel, so are Hello. we doing a little taste test? Uh, we are doing a taste test, okay. but um, Rose, I realize you haven't given me a fork. <laughs> <laughs> I basically want him to try all three. Okay, starting with this one. Okay. And uh, you're gonna tell me what you think of each and 
which one you think is the best, and you have to guess what's in each thing. Okay. You have to guess after each bite. Okay, so I'll do the guessing first of what yes. the ingredients are, and okay. then at the end, I'm gonna tell you which one's my favorite. Perfect. Okay, so we'll start with this one. This is number one, guys. Get a good little... It's a, I mean, I made it a little while ago, so it might be a little, you okay. know. Mmm. What do you think is the main ingredient? First thing that pops into your mind. Mmm. Is it... <laughs> do it! Say it! <laughs> is it, is it! Is there some tahini in this one? I'll... I'll tell you after. Tell me after. Yes. So okay. The, okay. So, for so that's one, number one. You're gonna guess I tahini. Think, yeah. Okay. Okay. Number two. I might change it after I've tried all of them. You know what I mean? Sure. If I've tried sure. Like a, okay, sure. Sure. Let me sure. see this one. So this one makes me think of it. I could be wrong, but it kind of makes me think of you know when you make the creamy sauce by doing like the flour. Have you done it before like this with flour sure. and, and, and like um, soy milk? Okay, so that's your guess? That's my guess. Okay. <laughs> so far I like this one the best. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh interesting. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Last one. Ooh, oh god, that's oh, a- Oh sorry, that's- <laughs> That's a mouthful. Okay, let me try this one. It's a little sticky, it's a bit starchy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> So I can tell you right now, okay. my, my favorite one is this one. Oh, the oh this one. This one okay. Because yeah. it has almost like a um, like a fettuccine kind of okay. taste. I don't okay. know why it just does. Um, ingredients wise, and I'm probably gonna get this all wrong. Okay, so you guessed tahini for this one. That's the main kind of like tahini ish. Okay. This one is like flour with the milk. Do you uh -huh. know what I mean? Yes, you I know add, the roux. You mean yeah, the roux? Yeah. yeah. And then this one, which is delicious. Well, they're all they're all pretty good, but uh -huh, I think this is my uh -huh. favorite. Uh huh. Hang on, let me try this one again. <laughs> I'm so entertained right now. What is the ingredient in this one? Wild guess. Take a wild guess. Is it cashews? I'll tell you what's in every single one of them, and I'll tell you that you've got every single one of them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so bad at this. Oh my god, I this is I've hilarious. Had, I've had coffee though, Don't so I feel even, like my palate's tainted. Um, coffee is supposed to actually cleanse your palate. Is it? Yeah. You know when you taste, um, no, what is the thing when you... It's smelling. When you smell, okay, fine. Well, I mean, smelling and taste no, are two cleanses, very, very related things. It cleanses the nasal cavity. So if I was smelling these, then I would do a smell of coffee between. Lies. But, um, Anyways, well, okay. I'll tell you. Talk me through it. And I want to try another so, forkful after telling you <laughs> to see if I can <laughs> taste it, you know? Okay, so this one is not tahini, it's cauliflower. What? Mm-hmm. I would have never guessed it. And... This one is cashews. Okay, really? Yes. I'm surprised. And this one is the flour and milk. What? <laughs> How did I get them all wrong? I don't know. This one was my favorite. Yes, but this one, I think the reason why is because it's a one pot pasta. Mm. So I cooked the pasta with the sauce. Uh, so I think okay. that made the bit of a difference because I didn't cook it separately. So mm. it kind of added a little bit more of that like you know what would be a good idea to do as well for a taste test, just an idea, is next time like just, why, do you ever do the sauces like separately? And then you could try each sauce oh, like this, you know? Yeah, but it's, you gotta have the full shebang. The full um, pasta goodness, Okay, you know? so Daniel chose the, uh, the cheapest option. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are a cheap, lazy vegan indeed. To be honest, okay, so if I was, this is my number one, I, they're uh -huh. all really good, but I like this one first, mm -hmm. and then I have like this one second. I'm actually shocked, I thought you would like this one the best. Mm. Cause that's the cashew one. I know, I do really like, but this one, it's more, it feels really creamy. Like right. this one's, I'm surprised that you said cauliflower, right? Yes. That's mind blowing. You're, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to give me the recipe. Okay, yeah. well, um, before you eat it all, let's all, let's all have some, okay? Thanks guys, thanks, thanks for being part of the taste test. Mm. <laughs> All right, you guys, so those were my three different creamy vegan pasta recipes. I want you guys to try these all out and tell me which one you like the best, okay? I really wanna know, okay? I'm not really sure exactly what my favorite is. I wanna say it's the cashew, but I think they're all really, really good. So I hope you guys try it out and let me know what you think. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much to Skillshare once again for sponsoring today's video. Once again, guys, don't forget the first thousand people to click the link down below will get Skillshare Premium for two months absolutely free. So don't miss that. Click the link below and grab your free two-month trial. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.